Hi everyone, or hey everyone, as I'm trying to uh, start up here as my intro. Uh, Jade again. Uh, I missed a video last week, well, not missed more, didn't get time to record one because I started up college last week, just starting my second week at it again this week. Uh, so I figured that would be the proper time to talk about this whole apartment thing I promised to talk about <laughs> but never got to. Uh, also, turns out none of you like when I talk for an hour straight about super obscure lore of a game that existed for 10 years. Who would have thought? Uh, <laughs> I'm still gonna link that video into this one. Um, so you all have to look at it. I'm going to promote it to spite the algorithm. We'll, we'll see what happens. It won't succeed, but it won't happen. Uh, but yeah, if you kind of like these talks um, that I'm doing or any of the gameplay I do or the streams that I'm hoping to get off the ground once I get a wider audience out there, please subscribe and share with friends. I guess I should chill out for once. Um, but besides that, I guess where to start about doing an apartment is the simple fact I didn't I never I didn't want to. That, that's the thing. Didn't want to. My my um my junior year uh of of college, I started out going to it. It was rough. I hated it. And I really like the social support net I have currently. Like my parents and all that, they help me. Like the big thing, like, okay, let me back up a bit. With with the support net of my family, I don't have to pay very much to go to college, um, and so the idea of moving out and paying for my own house, since because I was getting to live with my parents, was something foreign or terrifying to me in a way. Because I'm like, I don't want to provide myself. I I only work part time because I'm in college. Um, I'm I'm uh, fortunate enough to be able to work f part time and pay for college and only and not have to have any loans. But it was kind of that point where my brother, actually, who is the source of all of this, came up to me. He's like, "Hey, me and this friend of mine, uh, we want to move out. Uh, do you want to come?" Or no, he's he said we're going to move out the coming year when the summer hits. Um. Just letting you know and i thought to myself oh okay cool good on them about three days some somewhere within three days to a week later my mom started asking him about it and then asked if i wanted to go and i on a complete whim said sure yeah i'm, I'm thinking about it and and my brother is like okay uh yeah you might, <laughs> i'm coming too and so i i hitched a ride that's right. That's how I'm here in this room right now. It's because I, on a whim, hitched a ride to wanting to finally enter the real world and live my own life independent. And so I never looked forward to I dragged my feet coming to this apartment. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I dragged my feet because... Uh, I was dreading the thought of having to pay for rent. I was dreading all of these thoughts of having to live away from parents, of having to do college while all that's going on. And so I tried to make my summer last as long as possible and just push the thought that I agreed to get in a three room apartment because um, my brother and their friend, they were planning, hey, if you join us, we could get to the three room. And then if not, we'll just downgrade to the tube room they didn't really care what i did in that matter i was literally just if i wanted to join or not it's up to me and <laughs> inside i kind of didn't want to but as it kind of progressed um i kept thinking you know it'd be nice to not live with my parents for once because they're great but they, they're parents and parents can just as a norm can be overbearing i guess and so i was thinking you know it would be nice to have my own place or be able to just i know the biggest thing was have my own privacy just that was a big thing and so time comes uh that at the beginning of the summer where 
uh, we have to meet with the landlords about the apartment. Uh, we go in, and they talk about it, and we have us read the contract, and I give them like a safety check, or safety check, I don't know what it's called, it's like that thir the, the, uh, extra payment that you'll get back, um, or something. Um, and I'm reading through this contract, and it's, it's kind of super lenient, because I, I got it really nice. I I have all my payments in one. I pay for my rent, my water bill, my electricity, my internet. It's all in one bill. And so that's really nice, um, because it, I also are, it's an apartment meant for college students. It um, They're not part of the college, but they help college students, because they're really close by. And so I'm reading through it and like list of limitations and things like that. And there's this big like consent form of like, you can like consent out of it at any time. And I'm like, oh, that's really nice. And so I wanted to like ask about that. Um, and so I look to the guy after I sign it, having signed it and I go, all right, so uh, what happens if I like, I'm starting to feel I don't uh, want to, uh, want to live here anymore and want to like leave early and he looks at me bewildered completely starstruck and goes well you just signed a form that said you're gonna pay us for a year to live here and i just sit there internally screaming at myself as on the outside i go oh okay and so now i'm like sitting here going as i live in this building go i have to pay for a year of this and after that i guys figure out what i'm gonna do because i agreed to it on i consented to it i read the form but i didn't understand it that's the thing i didn't understand that's what i signed up for so that's what he told me i signed up for um and so i sit there this is at the beginning of the summer so i have three months until we move into the apartment and i'll get to moving in later and i just like Okay, I just agreed to it. There's no backing out now. It's not I can live at home because no matter what, I'm paying for that room for over, for a year now. And so summer comes along um, pretty nice. We got to go on vacation to the Great Lakes. I got an internship. That was pretty nice. Uh, we went on a, a lake trip before college starts, and I think it was... the. The thing that's funny, my brother and his friend, who are my roommates, they set it all up. Like, two, about a year back or a little more, they were the ones who contacted everyone because this wasn't even on my resume. I wasn't even thinking about doing this. And so uh, they were really the two hands on, and I kind of was just there on the side, giving my talking as I could. And, but as the time gets on and we have to figure out what would we packing? What days are we going in? How, when are we getting our keys? What about payments, all that? I started doing that a lot more as in, I started being like the main person. Like it was um, my brother's friend and then he would contact us going like, hey, what do you guys have for supplies? And then I would immediately text back, and my brother wouldn't respond at all. Uh, and then uh, I, like for the keys, I had planned, I talked to the person and all this, and my brother told me recently, oh yeah, no, I replied to all that. I just did that to DMs, uh, not in the like big um, roommate um, chat we kind of had going. And I'm like, that doesn't count. That's stupid. <laughs> just gotta keep my victory. Uh, but yeah, I did a lot of the stuff. Um, my parents helped a lot with that they backing up a bit when the parents learned we were moving out they looked at us like oh um all right uh and i looked at each other like these two don't know how to survive on their own and i couldn't help but internally agree with that that <laughs> we've never been on our own and have no clue what to do <laughs> properly and i'm like yeah yeah that's true but that is why we're doing this, so I can figure out how to do stuff on my own. And it's just this thing where they were super helpful. They literally, I want to say they held our hand through it, where they got us furniture, they got us desks, they sent us all, like, old things, our old stuff with us, 
and clothes, and they made sure that we remembered everything. They like, were double checking and all those things. And they helped us get this apartment ready. Like, even on the packing day, they were the ones to, because uh, I was working on the day that we moved in. It was my brother and my dad that came in and they put everything in. And then I came in and was able to organize my stuff after the fact. That's why I have my setup all around here that's cool and dandy and things like that. And it was cool. Or, I already said that. Um, and I just am sitting there and finally move in. And it's weird um, that I'm actually here. I, I spoke about this in So I Just Moved In video, my first uh, talk video, that it, it's such a strange, strange thing to think about that I moved out. It feels like I'm on an extended vacation, like I'm at space camp again or something, or I'm at some sleepover, but the more nights I sleep here, the more nights I, or, or I walk back here, I'm starting to kind of get used to that this is my home, but a part of me really doesn't want to feel like it's my home. One day I want, well, my own place. I, I never want to think of an apartment as my living quarters. I know that's, that could be considered stuck up maybe, I don't know, uh, that's, it's just, I don't think a place that you have to pay for constantly through rent can be considered your home, really. It can be your occupants, but it's not a place I feel secure financially to be in. And on top of that, it's really strange being so separated from everyone else, um, which is weird because I technically go and leave anytime I want to go to them, but just being having that distance where they're not right down the hall is so strange because I would always come in when I had a bad day with college. I'd rant to my mom about it, and that really helped with things. And yeah, uh, besides that, uh, it was just the first day of college that came up since I'll move into college, I guess. I think I, yeah. We moved in, yeah. And we came in, and I sat in my apartment, and I had a like a crash. I crashed down on the couch, cause or not couch, the bed right there, cause I was just overwhelmed. I didn't know what to do. It felt everything felt so new again, or raw is a better term for it. Where it's just like this is life. I where I have all these expectations suddenly forced back on me, and. It's now just me. Uh, sure, my parents are still helping with payments and all that, but it really is just me. I have my friends, I have my brother, but right now, right here, I have to take care of it all. I, I have to get the jobs, I have to do all that. And I'll make another video one day on college and expectations and how I feel about the expectations put on you throughout your life as you grow up. Especially as a, as someone who was always the car the kid who got good grades in class, it, it's it's such a weird dilemma to be expected to excel in in a field and it, even when a field you don't know if it's right or you don't know you're good at and so I got a year to live in this apartment and after that. I'm not sure I want to move back with my parents just yet. That's the thing. Because even though it's only been a week of this, I got a lot of good out of being here. Or, I got a lot of good over the summer. Being at an internship, having a solid schedule, was so was such an interesting thing where I could plan things out, I had the time, and then coming back to college where I now have three different schedules I'm taking track of, like, so many different responsibilities because I have so many different obligations instead of just the single job or something. And then I want to also do this because this is my passion and things. And it's really difficult or not difficult. It's, it's such a strange thing where I went from this place of routine that I had really enjoyed to where I am at. And yet through it, I kind of prefer where I'm at now, at least some parts of it with the apartment where I'm just like, hey, I'd like that routine, 
but I'd also like to have this place to myself. And I think that's the biggest thing I'll take away from this, um, where it is that the moment when you grow up where you leave the nest and you're just like, I don't want to stay with my, I don't want to stay under my parents' shadow. I don't want to be under their roof forever. I don't want to live as a part of their social group forever. You want to go and make your own group, your own connections out there. Um, and this year, which is hopefully my last year of college, I hope is that year where I kind of learn how to do that. And I learn how to do things on my own, because that's the big thing. Uh, I still have to learn how to figure out how to call uh, doctor's appointments for myself or call other people for things. I still have a doctor's call I have to make that I have forgotten to do, and I need to do that. And I don't, some part of me thinks, or some part of me I want to say knows I'm going to learn all those things by the time this year is up. It just, with how busy everything gets, especially with college, I kind of just want to say, we'll figure it out, or we'll see how it goes. And so yeah, uh, if you like my channel, or and things like that, uh, why don't we see how it goes together? And if you like what nice stuff, subscribe, or check out some of the other videos I'll put over there. I think, uh, no, not the, that way, I'll put the other videos on this side. Uh, I think there'll be one up here and down here. Uh, and yeah, um, <laughs> bye.